Welcome back, everybody. RP here, and we are back in Supermarket Simulator. Thank you so much for letting me steal some of your time. And let's talk about what we're going to do in today's episode. So what I'm thinking is what I've gone ahead and done from our last episode, I have not changed anything uh, other than the fact that I did do all the price changes that we need before this day needs to start. Every price has been adjusted uh, accordingly. We do not have to deal with any of that. I've, I've gone ahead and I've done that. Just like you would in a real supermarket before it opens up, man. I've already gone ahead. I've stocked the shelves. I've adjusted prices where need be. Left them alone. And again, we are we are doing our prices according to what the market price value is. We're not gouging people, uh, and we're not underselling. We're 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 playing it the way the market price would like us to do. And I know we could push prices up, but we're not going to do that. Look, there's enough of that in real life. In the virtual life of supermarket simulation, Jack and I are gonna give you the best value for your virtual dollar. All right, so having said that, you know, it's fun playing this game from the perspective of somebody that actually has worked in a real supermarket. And I think anybody that's watching my videos and has had a summer job or a, or a beginner life job in a supermarket, uh, and by the way, I, I, when I worked at the Star Market that I worked at, and let me show you some of the other things that I've done here with the storage. Uh, when I worked at a star market and I talked to some of the veterans and I was only there part time, I was in between jobs. I just needed something, uh, you know, to hold me over. And uh, I talked to guys that started at these supermarkets in high school and the money they were making after 20 years. <laughs> let me tell you, it's it's not a bad vocation if you start and uh, and work your way up the chain in the uh, supermarket uh, business. Let me tell you. All right. So what I've gone and done is. I'm using this for actual storage. So we've got some uh, overflow storage here. And I'm collecting empty boxes over here. So until they implement the uh, mechanic where you can take things off the shelf without boxes, I'm going to try to collect one of every box so that if I want to change my shelves around, which I do, I actually want to get like this flour combined with this flour, the pasta, the oils, you know, kind of in a in a real a real supermarket uh, setup, and that that's going to take time because the way you start out with the products. All right, so we've got everything stocked, and what I would like to set the goal for today's episode is we're going to play until we reach enough money to buy this license, and this is all refrigerated goods, so we don't have to buy a shelf or anything. We've got this empty. Uh, fridge set up waiting for us. And that's how this episode's going to go. That's the goal of the episode. And I've just kind of explained how my stock layout is. I'm going to keep open stock in the store so that I can, you know, keep tabs on it as it dwindles down because this is what the job is right now, right? We're stock boy. Jack takes care of the money. And Jack, I appreciate it. And again, the solid unopened stuff will be here. So we'll run down here from time to time and uh, get what we need out of here. So let's get the day going. And again, thank you so much, everybody, for letting me steal some time from you. I do appreciate it. Do appreciate all the comments I've been getting. You guys have been awesome with the comments. Uh, it's it's. I really enjoy uh, continuing the conversation in the comments. You know, like when they're when they're you know they're really good comments. They're they're based in thought. They're not uh, you know they're not just people throwing bombs. You know, at a at a game. They're they're very constructive, and I really really appreciate that the uh, audience that uh, I'm getting on these videos is, uh, you know, very, very uh, smart, very uh, helpful, very uh, encouraging, uh, just awesome. I, I, I just can't tell you how much I appreciate it. So, you know, right now, all I got to do is just kind of like float around the store here, let Jack do his thing and just kind of take notice of um, what's been happening with the development. Like I, I, I'm key on like looking at different uh, people that are coming in, how many, how many new uh, citizen models they keep introducing. I don't know if you guys have seen the updates. Let's step out of the store for a second, let the store do its thing. I don't know if you guys have seen the updates, but they they did update that bug about customers coming in and wanting items that you didn't have the license for. Uh, I just read that. It's on, uh, it's on the latest update patch notes. If you want to go check that out on Steam, they, they did fix a lot of stuff. So they're right on top of this. Look at this. I'm going to stand right on top of the T. Get a little little elevated view here so I can watch uh, my shelves here. 
All right, we are really, really doing well. This tea is doing well now. I had to adjust the price on this tea. It was a little high, so this tea will start to uh, dwindle finally, and we'll start to sell off this stock. And I think I'll stick to one tea shelf, and we'll use this as a uh, another shelf to maybe double up on an item that's doing better than what tea does. So, yeah, it's just a matter of uh, keeping an eye on things at this point. And uh, like I said, the goal is I want to make enough money. We have the stock. I've been uh, basically before we started the day, we had forty-four dollars. I literally just like threw all the stock, or I, I should say, I threw all of our funds from the last playthrough uh, straight into stock. You know, just went ahead and just did it, man. So we're not going to be ordering stock for a little bit because we have it. We'll just be able to head right down to our little storage area. And I'm trying to make use of the fact that we burned $1,000 on this. And I'm starting to think now it might not have been a bad idea if I work it in this type of fashion where I go ahead and like load this up. And another thing, if you guys check out the roadmap before you play the game, like every time you load the game, that little roadmap to the top right of the loading screen, notice that they are mentioning shelves for your stock and i believe the shelves you're going to be able to buy them and probably put them in the stock room right that makes sense and then those items won't have to sit on the uh, ground they'll be able to sit in uh, shelving units so there is a lot of game left there's a lot of game that's not in it there's a lot of game that is in it that we can actually enjoy and play uh, but there is still a ton to come, so there's much, much more uh, to go. So we have to keep that in mind. We always must, must keep in mind that we're playing an early access game. We must give that 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 breathing room for the developer to, you know, implement things as he's working. Like, again, I don't know, could be a single guy making this game, could be a couple of people. Uh, but whatever it is, we're getting low on pasta. We got some right here. Let's go ahead and fill this hole before it disappears. And again, yeah, that would be one of the things I would like. Uh, somebody mentioned a trash can that you could actually put inside. And I think that'd be great uh, as the store gets bigger because these stores can get quite large. What did we run out of over here? All right, we just emptied out something here. And I, oh, cereal. One of them is cereal. I do know that, yeah. And the other one was tea. Okay, so that makes sense. That makes sense. Let's go down here. Do we have cereal? RP, did you get cereal? You did not get cereal. All right, might have to do that. How much money do we have? Four ninety-nine. Let's run over here. We're getting close to the five fifty, uh, but I'm gonna need a thousand before we can pull the trigger on that um, on that upgrade because oh, I don't want bread. I want cereal. I'll grab a couple of cereal. That's gonna cost us eighty-three dollars. I'll, I'll go ahead and keep the bread. It's not like we're not gonna use it. Let's go ahead and hit the lights. All right, let's get this cereal up here. Plus, I want to get a cereal box. This will give us a cereal box that we can save. This is how I'm doing this. I'm just putting these uh, down just like this. All right, so I know I got it. I think it says cereal on it. All right, where's, where's another hole? We got coffee, tea. Let me go ahead and get this tea in here. Plenty of tea. All right, that's done. I'm going to keep this tea box. We're going to have to put some lights in here as well. All right, that's a tea box. All right, what else did I get here that I need? Got the cereal. I'll go ahead and put this down here real quick. I'm going to have to buy a light for inside this storage area. And I got some bread. Do I need bread? I have bread right there. Nah, as long as I don't run out of anything and uh, we keep our, our customers satisfied. So I'm uh, my go. Oh, oh, oh. All right, salt, uh, uh, the oil, and the flour. All right, we got this oil. Let me throw this up here real quick. Let's throw that out there. We got here. Flour. I need the flour. What time is it? Oh, it's 9 o'clock. No sweat. No sweat. All right. They have a spaghetti. It's just that oil they're out of. I do have one of those oils. I thought I did. Yeah, right here. Throw that up there temporarily. Officially, we're not out of it. All right. Oh, man. Take all the flour. Are people still going to be able to come in? May oh, 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 yeah. You can still come in. We got to grab some flour. We got to grab some flour. All right, there. Build that hole. Look at that, man. We are cranking the money. We might be able to do this. Might be able to do this. How are we doing over here? Flour is there. Uh, bread is here. What am I missing in this hole right here? Think, think, think. I have double bread. Double that. Double flour. What did I have here? 
Why? See, this the price tag should stay. You know, when I was filling my dairy at Star, I didn't take the price tag off if it was empty. <laughs> How else am I supposed to know where they put the stock? Oh, what was here? Gosh, I am blanking. All right, let's get the rest of these customers out. I'll have to figure that out. Uh, that's the only thing that's uh, kind of messing me up right now is, uh, you know, the fact that we can't keep the uh, price tag right here. What? All right, so we got our noodle bread, cereal, double flour, a double... Is it sugar? No, I have double sugar up here. Oh, coffee. It's coffee. That's what it is. It's coffee. I got coffee right here. See, that took way too long for me to uh, visualize what was here without a price tag. You know, and that's the thing. It's like I got to have a photographic memory or a better stocking system. You know, get my shelves better. Right, Jack? <laughs> Look at him just staring at me like, you're not very happy, but yeah, you're not very sad. So we'll take that as a win. All right, we'll keep the coffee box because we're going to need it. And let's just go ahead and put that down right here. All right, let's end the day at $988. I think if we, we blow through another day, I think we have enough stock that we can get refilled. Let's go ahead and end the day real quick. Ah, one product not found. That's probably because that coffee was empty for so long. That bothers me. I really, really want to try to keep up uh, the best I can. All right, let's get our morning going here. Uh, were there any price changes? I did not see any alerts. Let's go over here and yeah, we have cereal. Cereal has an indication. Pasta has an indication. Let's just go ahead and do a quick cereal check here. It's up to 688. All right, we'll go ahead and we'll change that to 688. And the pasta, I believe this one, yeah, 705. Go ahead and hit that up with 705, and I that should do it. I'll look again in case we have to order. All right, so let's let's do something here. What? All right, this is my bread. I'm fine with my bread being here. Let me go ahead, and I'm going to save my bread box. So this is going to take us a little bit, uh, so please bear with me. This is going to take a little time because I'm trying to stay organized at the same time. This is my flower. And did I have another flower one? Did I keep another flower one? I thought that I did might be this one let me let me check this is what i want to do nope it's not this one i can't hold on can i open this up oh don't tell me once you close it it's it's no good i don't think i can open this up no you know what i think i might have messed up by closing them let me check this is this is a flower if i can get that flower to come into this box then it's okay oh no look oh no yeah you can oh man i shouldn't have thrown that away you know what we'll do We'll do this. This is what we'll do. Put these right next to each other. That way I can keep an eye on them. All right. I would like to double it up. So what I'll do is I'll probably bring the coffee down one and maybe bring the bread down one. That way I can get two flowers. Just thinking out loud here. You guys let me know what you think I should uh, do going forward here. I've got to get this under control so that you know, we can keep a better eye on it. So I know now if this, if this depletes, I know it'll be one of the, one of the two flowers. So we've got, I want to get this spaghetti moved as well. If I can, this is going to be, uh, it's going to be quite the episode. <laughs> All right. So we can close the box. We just need to, uh, make sure we remember, uh, what goes in the box. So what is this Has international? It, it doesn't tell me what it is on here. Like this one has the label, which is awesome. I wish it would keep the labels. That would really help. All right, let's just get uh, let's just get things stocked up. I think we need some sugar. Go ahead and get some sugar. All right, I want to go and throw this pasta right here, and then maybe I can just take this and put it here. And there we go. All right, that worked. Okay, now I could go above with the flour. Yep. All right. I'm going to keep this. This is a pasta box. I'm just going to keep this right here for right now. I don't think it has a picture of pasta on it. What else do we need? What else do we need? Uh, oil. We were running out of this and I had that there. So I'll put this oil. I'll put it right here. And let's throw this down here for right now. It's going to be a very confusing uh, a system without being able to uh, have pictures of the uh, items on the box. Some do, some don't. 
I wish they all did. All right, this is an empty box. Let's go ahead and keep the salt box just in case. The funny thing is about this box is we know what it is. It's I think it's the only box that's shaped like that. All right, we have cheese and rice. Oh, that was... Okay, rice is up here. No problem. All right, we've been running one rice, and it's been working. Get hung up on that door. I'm going to throw this rice over here. All right, what else do we got to get going here? I'm going to keep that tea there. We can throw another coffee underneath the uh, cereal. In fact, I'm going to get this tea out of here. Tea doesn't sell that uh, doesn't sell that great, and uh, it's quite a bit of tea in there. For one thing. All right, what else do we need here? How are we doing on this pasta? This pasta was depleting. Yeah, let's go ahead and fill this one up. Got bread. Uh, I'm missing something. Oh, yeah, we took the, the spaghetti over there. We doubled it up over there. And that that's right. We can we can actually use this. I can go ahead and get rid of that. I don't need that box. All right. Might have to buy some stuff here. Let's see. Let's get a flowers. Got the pasta. I've got oil. I don't need to buy oil. I've got peanut butter. The nice thing is, is you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, the time. You got plenty of time. You can use all the time you want to get everything uh, situated. Don't need that. Why'd I pick that up? Need this. All right, that takes care of that. Let's check our cooler. Water. I think I have some water right here. And we're gonna need some water. I have milk. I have cheese, and I have eggs. Let's go ahead and top off the uh, the eggs and the cheese and the milk. Seems to be working out pretty good for us. Go ahead and throw this milk right here. We got these eggs. Throw them right up here. And this egg was completely empty. Go ahead and grab another egg. I think I have one right there. All right, we'll let this one hang right there. All right, how's our cheese? Go ahead and order coffee and water. And let me get a water. And let me get a couple of coffee. And let me get a couple of flour. Where's the other flour right here? Uh, I think that should be good. We'll just keep an eye. That's $204. That brings us down to $700. So, yeah, I think if we get through this day, uh, I think we should have enough money to buy the upgrades. And we can see what happens. You know, I want to get the soda. I want to get this I want to get that cooler filled I really do all right so I have an extra coffee go ahead and we'll throw it down here yeah and this is like totally becoming a mess very quickly so you guys are seeing my my uh, my my thought and my my strategy and my plan in real time and whether it works or not <laughs> you know what I mean I mean I had high hopes to be able to keep that storage area you know all pristine and organized but uh, that is not gonna happen what is this? This is the flower. I want to get another one of these up here. And then when that sugar sells, uh, we'll see. I, I'll just, I'm just going to have to keep an eye on it. I need more of everything. I need more space. I just need more of everything. All right, we'll go ahead and throw this one down here. Put it right there. All right, what is this? This is the flower right here. I'm good. I actually do have to top this off. All right, so we'll go ahead and throw this over here for later on in the day. And I think I have one more. Yeah, go ahead and throw this one down here. All right, let's go ahead and open up the store. Sorry, guys, it's taking longer to get everything ready because, you know, we just have more stuff and I don't think it's going to get any better. <laughs> To be honest with you, I think it's always going to be this hectic. All right, I've got oil up here that I should actually put while we have the store open. And I think I have it. Yeah, right here. i got to remember what I do have bought already versus what I don't. So we have rice over here, water, we have sugar, and we have an empty box. Close it. It doesn't have anything on top. You know what? I'm just going to get rid of it. All right, let's see what happens here. I do have sugar. I do have extra sugar. Let me get the extra sugar. Where is it? Thought I did. Didn't I have extra sugar? I do not. All right, that's good to know. I'll have to keep an eye on that. You have cheese if I want to top this cheese off. Yeah, all right, excellent. All right, let's see what kind of profits we make today. And uh, yeah, 
looking good so far. Like I said, a little bit, a little bit slow getting, uh, you know, getting things up and running, trying to remember everything. And I, I'm, I really got it. I really got to get my mental uh, picture of what's going on. So when these shelves go empty, I know what's happening. And like I said, two dollars for shipping for one item, and two dollars for shipping for two items. So I always go with the minimum of two. And I just want to get this sugar taken care of before that becomes an issue. All right, the sugar's probably going to go, so we'll just throw a full one in here. It's one of those items that seems to go rather quickly. The flour is going. Let me go grab some flour real quick. That's already going. There's no way we can just run one of these flowers. We're going to have to run two. I'm just going to grab it and put it over here. We're going to run out of flour too quickly. I can, I can feel it. Here's a flower right here. Awesome. Right on time. Excellent. Perfect. All right. Catch a breath. We do have this one empty spot. Why is that spot empty? Oh, because I moved the coffee over here and we only have one tea so we have one spot oh man that's all right i want to get that coffee to the bottom that tea to the top and then a flower right below this one keep those flowers together all right days going by pretty quickly all right we're at a thousand dollars all right we're at a thousand dollars we've got stock Let's go ahead. Let's get the license and let's buy a few of those items. All right. So we uh, we did adjust our prices, right? We did the pasta adjust. We did the uh, cereal adjust. Management by 50. There we go. Purchase. All right. We have the new products. We've got $526. Let's buy one of each of the new products. Let's get those into the store. We've got $473 left. Awesome. Got some orange juice here. Orange juice is like milk. It doubles up. Dude, you can't have the orange juice yet. What are you people doing? What are you people doing? You can't have the orange juice yet. Not for 85 cents. It's $2.81. I hope that reflects by the time they get to the uh, register. <laughs> Man. No, you can't do that to me. Right? Let me get this loaded. Gonna have to just throw these boxes and run and gun here, right? All right, 258. There we go, 258. All right, we can get rid of this. And you see that guy? That guy got that orange juice for 85 cents. He's like, "Oh, excuse me, man. That's a good deal." Yeah, I know it is. All right, so the sodas take up two spots. Oh, that 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 one doesn't, but the but the cola does. Okay. Now, this is 260. There we go, 260. All right, starting to get dark. Yeah, not bad. There we go, turn on the lights. What do we got here? We got another another cola. This is gonna fill up both the bottom ones. Yep, all right, that's a two shelfer. Get rid of that. Let's get this priced up to $2.12. There you go. Yeah, excellent. Here's the uh, six pack of milk. This product has to be placed on a shelf. Oh, all right. Well, guess what? And put it right there. So this must be dry milk. I'm going to guess, right? Like evaporated milk. Eleven twenty-five. That's a good price for that. All right, eleven twenty-five. I got it just in time. Just in time. All right. What's this other item here? The apple juice. All right, put the apple juice in here and toss the box and price out the apple juice to $2.81. There we go. Woo! Yeah, man. That's how you do it, baby. Meanwhile, while I was doing all that, what, what emptied out? <laughs> the bread. All right, sugar's doing good. Let's go grab some bread. What time is it? Nine o'clock? That doesn't matter. I got to get a light. Guys, we got to get a light. It's too dark in there. I definitely need to get a light in there. All right, what was here? Coffee. Man, they already burned through that coffee. All right, so keeping them satisfied, I think, is going to be uh, uh, easier said than done. Because they just uh, they just love my goods, man. <laughs> They're just wiping me out. It's well after 9 o'clock. They're still coming in, but I can't turn down the money. All right, everything's looking healthy. I mean, you know, healthy enough. 
All right, we had double pasta here. All right, what? We had double pasta here. Uh, the oil up here is right here. There you go. Look at this. I'm still stocking well after 9 o'clock. All right, so we were able to purchase that license, and look, we're back up to uh, almost $1,000 profit, uh, which is good because we're going to have to pay our bills. Uh, we have to pay our loan, and we have to pay our bills. So, yeah, let's let these guys get out. Let's pay our loan. And let's pay our bills. We'll end the day. And uh, we'll stock up. And uh, we'll run through another day and uh, and see what kind of money we get. You know, having the new items and everything. I want to see how everything sells. Uh, you guys have asked for these episodes to be a little bit longer. And I am going to oblige. All right. Let's go ahead and end the day. All right. I could not keep up with the products not found. I'm guilty. Guilty as charged. What can I tell you? All right, start the next day. The oil, oh, staff paid automatically. Well, that's fine. That's fine. I never noticed that before. We have the money, so it's not like uh, not like we made anybody angry. I just never saw it come up in that harsh redness before. <laughs> staff paid automatically, or was I supposed to be paying them? Oh, that's a very good. Uh, let's go to let's go to hiring. No, I mean, there's never been anything here for me to pay him, so it must be an automatic no matter what. Let's pay our bills. I think we might have missed the day on our on our loan payment, too. Uh, where is my payments? Right here. Oh, I did. Look at this. Did I, oh, I got hit with... Uh, did I get hit with a uh, late fee? Oh, no. Good, good, good. Oh, good. Excellent. <laughs> I would have for sure thought we would have got hit for the late fee. All right, so we've done that. We're down to $736. Where are we? What do we need? And what should we be topping off? Let's go ahead and top this off. All right. We'll go ahead and throw this down here. All right. So I'm just going to quickly go and scan everything here and get it all topped up. And we'll get another day going and we'll see what kind of, uh, what kind of money we make. So I'll get right back with you guys. And we'll do this part quickly, and then we'll hit that open. Let's buy a couple of items just to top things off here. Make sure that we have them. And we need to go 
check the oil price before we open up here for the uh, for the next day. And let's go ahead and do that. This is 484 now. This is the only price change I believe that we need to deal with. And let's go ahead and grab some bread. And let's get the start of this day going. And uh, let's see what kind of profits we turn. And let's see if I can keep up with demand. And yeah, good luck. Good luck. I don't. I don't know if it's even possible. It might be possible. I think. I think I might have got caught up because I was trying to fill this and price it at the same time. So uh, maybe now I'll be able to get a better handle on it. And I'm just going to keep an eye and I'm just going to work the day and not pay attention to the customers. I'm just going to keep an eye on my shelves and I'm just going to fill them where I think they need to be filled. So thank you so much, everybody. I really appreciate the support I'm getting on my channel, and I'm glad you guys are enjoying my playthrough of this Supermarket Simulator series. I'm having a lot of fun with the game. I really, really love these games. I enjoy games like this where you get to use your mind, get some strategies, and uh, th that satisfaction of, of doing a good job, you know, of or at least trying to do a good job. I mean, we're always trying to do a good job. Yes, it's better to try try to do a good job than a bad job, right? Got to keep an eye on this, this milk here. Our tea is starting to go down. I've got a hole here. Let's go ahead and let's order up some coffee. And what else do we think? I think I might order up one of these just in case. Let's go ahead and because I think these are these new items will probably go quickly. Yeah, look at that. It's already starting to go. Yeah, I was right. Right, that's going to be a popular item. We're going to have to keep an eye on that. Go ahead and get another row of coffee in here. We'll keep this coffee right here. How much for another expansion as far as like the size of uh, the growth here? What do, what do we need? We need $750 to to expand by two more. Or no, right? right? How, what, what's this? Oh, four by four. So this must be the one, if we hit this one, I think this is the one that just opens up right here. Just opens up a square right here. Uh, we, we should probably try to get that as fast as we can. We're, we're going to need the room. We're just going to need the room. All right, rice. I see you. Do I have rice? Do I have rice? I see the rice is starting to go. I mean, believe it or not, this storage area is actually kind of useful at this point because I really don't have a lot of floor space left over. So I'm going to have to, uh, you know, keep an eye on things and actually maybe even double up on my stacking. I could stack like this, but then I'll then I'll hide that that's coffee. I don't want to do that. I right, just want to make sure. Oh, tea. Well, don't worry. I got plenty of that. Plenty of tea. All right, and we can top this tea off for sure, man. There you go. Now, tea is something I don't have to keep on the floor. It's just not going to sell out. And keep that right over here. What do I got over here? I've got eggs. I've got oil. These are my empty boxes that don't seem to be working as planned. A flour, two flours. I've got bread. I've got sugar. How's the sugar doing? Cheese. Oh, 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 orange juice gone already. Look at that. Look at that. Apple juice, apple juice, orange juice. Going to have to grab some orange juice. There we go. See if we can get this up here real quickly. All right. What was at the bottom there? Oh, we're running out of soda. All right, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to stock up on on these uh, new items here. So let's go ahead and grab a couple of these sodas. Grab an apple juice. Oh, actually, that was an orange juice. Let me get rid of that. I already got that. Let me get rid of this. Uh, I'll grab an apple juice, another milk, this soda, and this soda. Go ahead and purchase that. It's already getting towards the end of the day. I can tell by the light. All right, one of these sodas, this one. There we go. There we go. All right, how's that pasta doing? Oh, that pasta's starting to run out. Look at this. This is, this, this is when they start coming in. Coming in at the end of the day. And they're all going to line up there. How's this looking? All right, all right. Cheese is too expensive. What do you mean cheese is too expensive? Two forty-one. How'd I miss that? I don't remember that. There you go. Sorry about that. 
The checkouts are full. Yeah, I know that. What do you want me to do? All right, so I, I, I don't have room for another checkout person, man. What do you want me to do? All right, so we're, we're encountering this. Just going to let this play out. I mean, there, Jack, come on, Jack. Please, Jack, get it on here, brother. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Peanut butter, peanut butter, peanut butter. Peanut butter, peanut butter. It's already, it's not even the end of the day. And we never did get lights in here, did we? And I don't have peanut butter. I don't have peanut butter. I got apple juice. You have apple juice. Oh my gosh. Can I get peanut butter in here real quick? Now it's getting hectic, right? Now it's getting hectic. Now it's getting hectic. Where's the peanut butter? Right there. I just don't want to run out. I guess that's what's happening right now. I'm just like panicking. That oil's looking low. They're probably going to wipe that oil out any second. Definitely got to get a light in here. Got to get a light in there. Oh, flower. How's that other flower doing? We do have some. All right. God, I got nowhere to put anything. All right. This is crazy, man. It's it's 9 o'clock. Hey, store, if I close the store, I wonder if they'll leave. <laughs> All right. Nothing's empty. Apple juice, the colas. What else? Cheese is there. Water is there. We're getting low on milk. Let's go ahead and just throw the milk in here real quickly. There we go. Got a mess out here on the street. Can I get, can I get that milk, buddy? Thanks. Takes care of that. Yeah, but look at the money we're making, though, right? We are making the money. Definitely are making the money. All right. Uh, how did that cheese uh, get out of the uh, get get out from underneath our radar there? You know? Oh, I accidentally uh, messed that up. I need to put another cheese right there. Put a milk where the cheese was. Shouldn't have done that, but I did. I'm getting uh, I'm getting overwhelmed. <laughs> the game is overwhelming me at this point. I'm calming down now. All right, we have something missing right here. All right, flour, 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 and what was above the bread right over here? Cereal, and we have cereal right there. All right, we have coffee right there. Coffee was right there. All right, we haven't. We haven't run out of anything, so let's see if these customers can get out of here, and then uh, we'll see what we we'll see what we did. We'll take a breath, we'll evaluate, and uh, we'll go from there. Couldn't find milk six pack. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh well. Oh well. Messed that up. What is this? This is cola. This is cola. Apple juice. Peanut butter, juice, oh my goodness, huh? Messed that up. Yeah, well, what are you going to do? I, did I put, where did I put that anyway? Are they gone, Jack? Jack, how are you doing? Was that, was that a rough day for you? That was a rough day for me, my man. All right, everybody, that was insane. We got our first, uh, let's go ahead and uh, end the day. Uh, yeah, products not found. Products found expensive to, uh, all right, look, it is what it is. Got juice up, cola down, and the cereal up or down. I'm just exhausted, Jack, so we're going to call it right here. I've got to get the mess straightened out here. This has gone insane, totally insane. We've got product everywhere, uh, but we made some money. And we're doing well. And let's see what else is going on here. Let's make sure uh, so I don't forget because I'm going to probably forget if I don't do it now. Let's go ahead and pay the bills. Let's pay the loan. And yeah, call it a day. And uh, thank you so much, everybody. Uh, again, <laughs> having a lot of fun with the game. And, and you guys are seeing what the game is in real time. We play the game the way the game's supposed to be played. And I am not a super gamer. I am just your average gamer. And uh, I'm having a blast. Thanks again, everybody. I, re I can't tell you how much I appreciate your support. I love you all. Till the next episode, ta-ta and bye-bye.